Just two years after winning control of the Senate for the first time since 2007, Republicans run the risk of losing the upper chamber in November. 34 Senate seats are up for grabs. Republicans must defend 24 of those, including the most competitive seats, such as Indiana. That's a Republican Congressman Todd Young is running a tight race against Evan Bayh, a Democrat who previously held the seat for 12 years, and he also served as Indiana governor. Congressman Young joins us now from Indianapolis. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. And full disclosure for our viewers at home, we did invite Senator Bayh on the program. He's unable to join us today, so we'll make sure to keep this segment as fair and balanced as possible. But my first question is, if you rewind back to July, there was this big gaping lead between you two, and now we've seen those polls really get tighter. So I want to ask you, do you attribute that to you being an outsider? You know, actually, I think it's uh, the fact that my message is one that is resonating with Hoosiers. Hoosiers understand that Washington's broken. We need solution-oriented people prepared to work in a bipartisan way uh, to uh, fix Washington. Uh, we need to make sure that every Hoosier has access to a quality education that leads to a good-paying job and ultimately a meaningful career uh, in places like Indiana. And the other thing we need to focus on is keeping America safe and secure. And as a U.S. Marine, I feel like I have some uh, value to add in this area. So it's really the message more than in anything else. Okay, I want to talk about some news making headlines this week. Senator Bai has been hitting you on federal assistance to carrier employees. That's the uh, air conditioned manufacturer that is yeah. leaving your state, going to uh, Mexico. And like I said, and, and to be fair and balanced, I want to put up a, a statement. He wrote in part, Congressman Todd Young wants to help companies but leave workers in the lurch. It says a lot about Congressman Young's priority when he opposed this critical program for Hoosiers who lost their jobs to Mexico, but supported tax breaks for companies like Carrier who ship Hoosier jobs overseas. What's your response to that, sir? You know, it's unfortunate uh, that Evan Bayh is exploiting this situation uh, for political gain. Uh, I feel for these uh, carrier workers and their families, uh, and clearly uh, the Obama-Clinton policies have failed them. What uh, really led to uh, job losses uh, here in the state of Indiana among carrier employees is the undue regulatory burden foisted upon their company uh, by laws like Obamacare. My opponent cast a deciding vote for Obamacare. We wouldn't have it if not for Evan Bayh's vote. So uh, I want to repeal that law, replace it with something, a bipartisan health care reform that actually brings down health care costs. The other thing driving uh, some of the carrier's challenges is we have the highest corporate rate uh, tax rate in the industrialized world. If we have Hillary Clinton uh, as our next president, God forbid, and Evan By rubber stamping that Clinton agenda, we know very well that the tax rates will almost certainly go up, not down. So uh, that's not an environment conducive to job creation, unfortunately. Okay, I want you to elaborate on, on a couple points that you made um, job loss and the tax rate. Specifically, Evan By has come out against um, some, some trade deals. What are you telling voters? Because if you look, at some statistics. In the state of Indiana, 17% of the job force is manufacturing. I mean, that's almost 20,000 jobs. That's, that's a huge number of um, employment there. So what are you telling voters when it comes to whether or not you support any of these trade deals? Yeah, so I try not to make political issues uh, where, frankly, they don't exist. Evan Bay has consistently supported opening up foreign markets. Uh, for whatever reason, he no longer supports making sure that Indiana agriculture producers and manufacturers uh, have access to 95 percent of the world's consumers, uh, which are outside of the United States. I do not support the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Uh, there are a number of uh, provisions within that uh, agreement that uh, I find unacceptable. Uh, but with that said, if we want to make sure we have good auto worker uh, jobs, we want to make sure that uh, Indiana remains the largest manufacturing state in the country, uh, we need to make sure uh, that we open up those foreign markets. We also need to make sure that uh, in today's era of global supply chains uh, that we're not taxing at every level of production uh, our different manufactured goods. So um, I think Evan Bai used to understand that for whatever reason he's changed his policy. I also, it's important, want to add that uh, I'm for strong trade enforcement, and I've done a number of things during my short period in Congress to emphasize I support uh, train changing current ways uh, that we enforce trade deals, and, and we can do better on that front. Well, Congressman, I certainly wish we had more time. I'm getting the wrap in my ear, but uh, you know, it's safe to say that every Senate seat matters, yours in particular. There's a lot of people watching your race. Uh, we'll look for you on the debate on October 18th. We thank you very much for joining us today, sir, and, and good luck on the trail. 
Thanks so much.